Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part three of The Ascent. Thank you to everyone that's been checking out the last two parts. Uh, surprisingly, it's been doing a lot better than I expected, and we're off to a great start. <laughs> it's got wrecked within the first uh, 20 seconds. But anyways, uh, it's been a little bit since I last played, uh, but I see... Whoa, what the heck? Okay, one sec, one sec. Okay, anyways, uh, like I was saying, thank you everyone that has been watching my last few episodes. Uh, like I said, it, it has been doing a lot better than I expected, to be honest. So thank you to everyone that has been coming by. Uh, so with that, we're going to continue this series for a little bit here. We'll record a few episodes today, and then I'll be publishing them throughout the week. Uh, so that's the plan. Right now, I believe we have to go back to the guy that originally told us to come over here. Uh, what was his name? Something, something, like, Poon. Yeah, that is, that's it. Something is up. Poon sounded worried. I can visit him at Serenity Plus in Cluster 13. So we have to go all the way back. I don't know if there's really a fast travel system to go back. Uh, at least if it if there is one they didn't really tell us about it and when we do get back i might honestly pick up some side missions because i don't know if i was fully prepared to come all the way here to to do this there is some sort of train transit system which we might be able to use i don't know if that m is that is that it wait <laughs> I think this is. Uh, yep. Cluster 13. All right, we're making our way back. Tourist. I still can't get over how good the aesthetic for this game is. Uh, the one thing is, if this game was in third person, I I would absolutely love that. Um, I, I still enjoy the top-down view, obviously. Like, that's still pretty cool. It's not that bad either because you're still moving around um not like it's point and click which would have been fine as well um but personally i want a game like this in this aesthetic or this type of gameplay in third person so so bad so so bad uh but that's not the type of game that they wanted to create and i respect them for sticking to whatever they wanted to do and uh that's why we're here today playing it We're making our way over to sector 13. We do have, it looks like, is that a side mission? The, I will say the map is probably one of the most confusing parts of this whole game. Joe details. Rafter, gunsmith. Oh, okay. The yellow ones are side missions. There's also loot everywhere and I haven't really spent the time to to look around for it so I, I maybe while i'm here i should do that i think that's like the new station person and here we go whoops i love how when you walk into somebody <laughs> you almost knock them over every time all right i didn't boom. think i'd be showering in urine ever again after you fix the wmd but it seems the golden showers won't dry up anytime soon 
kidnappers didn't just grab any random haver when they came reading. Instead, they managed to kidnap almost every key alpha and beta level indent in the cluster. The very people we need to keep this place running. Corpsec disintegrating, I currently have zero access to the security systems. So I don't have a fucking clue where our havers are, who took them, or why. If someone wanted to cripple our cluster, they couldn't have done a better job. I need you to get these people back. Not for their sake, but for ours. You're gonna need help infiltrating the security systems. And I might have a lead for you. There's a quiche. Yeah, I know. But he's a mean ice cracker, a real net sage. I've employed his services once before. Unfortunately, it didn't end well, and I... I might have screwed him over. A bit. Needless to say, he's not accepting my pings. So it's gonna have to be face to face. And I'm done with you, Neil. I've learned that he set up shop in Black Lake Towers, where they had the flood. That's what I have. Cost me a good sum. What more do you want to know? We need those uh, I think we're good right Bato. now. Go. go get him. All right, I'll do my best. Let me he chat with this guy. He must be Bloom's latest pet project. He wore you to stop by. Looks like you picked that gear from a Warren's garbage dump. An upgrade is death in order. Here, I've sent you markers for a grafter, an armor guy, and a weapons dealer. No way. This is your lucky fucking day. Because I'm also going to give you a handout. A little something to get you started. Courtesy of Pooh. Why didn't I talk to him in the first Please place? Please try to exceed my non existent expectations by not spending it all on snooze and crime down bets. Off you go. Okay. Well, thank you for the kindness, sir. I guess. New mission, gear up. This would have been nice to have before I left, but that's okay. That's okay, right? <laughs> All right, let me go to each one of these and knock them out. We do have, so I, I haven't figured out a way how to get up there. I was up there last episode or like maybe even the one before that, but I, I couldn't get in there. So let's see what we have here. Chat with this guy. You yes, you. The one standing around talking awkwardly at all the magnificence you see before you. Yes, it's true. We're on the verge of a breakthrough here. One of the biggest ever in the history of science. Please will check my name. And what we're trying to do here is, well, it has to do with teleportation, you see. I have ah. a new field generator here. And what it does is rather than teleport a person or object, well, it just keeps them in that in between state instead rattles their molecules so to speak where they remain in stasis enough rattling and well kablooey of course we do need just a tad bit more information here before the tech is perfected and ready for sale so what do you say can you head on out into the field get us a little bit more data well that's just fantastic what we need specifically is some just get on out there put some baddies into stasis i mean really we need to put of course but hey well so you oh my gosh okay got it new mission double charge okay so that was another mission i thought that was gonna be uh so let me go to armor so what do we get we got a new headgear piece flatliner combat hood it gives us a boost and yeah it actually gives a boost in a lot <laughs> okay kind of looked a little bit like a superhero there yeah, it gives us more of both of these, so I'll take it for now. Nice thing is, if we don't like the look, we can always change it out. Looks like these pants might be better, too. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Map and missions. Where's that gear up mission? Let's knock this one out. So, locate the weapons vendor, visit the grafter, and visit the armor vendor. So, that's all the green spots. Nice. We're knocking things all over the place. Armor rating. Each piece, of, uh, each piece of armor gives individual defense rating for each damage type. Make sure to equip armor best suited for the type of incoming damage you want to protect from the most. Got it. Hello, sir. 
So, does he have, like, free stuff I can get, or... Oh, wow, he actually has a lot. Funds. So, right now, we have 13,338. I forget which one is which for... Attributes, it gives you... Okay, that's cool. This looks cool. And it actually has a lot of, uh... additional stats uh, is this guy in line now hold on one second sir never mind TACCOM headset energizer that one seems cool that has a lot of stats to it as well does it tell me? Show details. Weapon handling, speed reduction, fire digital, energy. Wait, is that speed reduction? Critical rate. Ooh. Tactical sense. Body energy. I think I might honestly get this. All right, upper body. I, I feel like we do kind of need some upper body equipment. So let's see what we have. Wow, they have a lot. Oh my god. Backpack. Haber shirt. Harness. Uh, some of this I don't know if we'll like need. I mean, some of it's okay. This one's all right. Gives me more energy, less physical though, less digital. Uh, I don't know. Actually, how much was it? 3,000? Maybe, maybe. Right now we have, I think, this equipped. Yeah, and it's giving us a good amount of physical. Okay. How about pants? Smuggler pants. Practical sense evasion and body energy. Why does it say? I wonder why it says zero one zero two. Cell augmentations headgear. Okay. Well, I think we're all right for for now, on on that at least. Headliner, uh, let me do, let's switch over to this guy. And now we will head over to the armor. Or the, uh, no, I mean the gun, gunsmith. So it looks like he's down there. Yeah, weapons is down there. How do I get down? the real question <laughs> um, I would like to go down there I see st I thought I saw steps to go up ah here we go this will take me down Looks like there might be a side mission down here too. We might pick that up. And weapons, I think, is right up here. Here we go. Visit vendors, weapon, armor, cyber, grafter to buy and sell goods. New goods will become available over time, so make sure you read this the vendors. We are looking to flatline for. I am looking for machine guns. What you got? Oh, man. I mean, the PPW is nice, but the problem is it's very, very short range. Maybe that's the level. Ballistic pistol. Mark one type. Shotguns. 
yeah these guns are way more expensive than i expected i don't really have enough for any of that at the moment uh, the last one we have to go to is the grafter which i believe is up top oh what's this that was pretty cool what's this guy do gunsmith crafting talk to grafter can't get worse browse chrome Looting. Uh, deploy a companion drone to help collect loot from the ground. That's actually pretty cool. Hydraulic slam. Uh, I think we, yeah, we currently have that actually. Oh, items one. Hyper focus. I actually like the looting one. Close down incoming projectiles. Empties the remainder of your clip with it with perfect accuracy and extra efficiency man that costs a lot though sure we'll get it and now we have like nothing left over all right let me go to augments Luton. boom there we go Who knows, maybe the, the drone will help me out further later on. Weapons. So... Fun six. What happens? Upgrade. Ah, whoops. I did not mean to upgrade it like that. <laughs> okay, sure. I upgraded the PPW, the uh, riot gun, weapon skin. Oh, that's cool. So the gunsmith upgrades your weapons, basically. What guns do I even have currently equipped? Loadout, we are using the riot gun and the PPW. So let me upgrade the riot gun too. Whoops, upgrade, yes. We still have four left. Is that saying that I have three of these then? Hold on. If it says zero three, then that might be saying that I saw. <laughs> keep bumping into these guys. That might be saying that I have three of these items zero three. So what happens if I sell? Oh. Okay. Wow. Now we know. So you can get multiple of one item. Cool, cool. That is very good to know. Uh, let's have a conversation with this guy. Do what he says. Neural pains, general anxiety, impotence, whatever it is, palms can surely help. Here are stims and salves to satisfy every need. My. What a formidable specimen you are. If there's nothing Hans can offer you, maybe there is something you can do for Hans. Interested? Wonderful. Hans will proceed to explain the situation. You see, Hans's signature ramrod bob has been flying off the shelves lately. It seems especially popular with the Jacklands. Now the stuff is running low and Hans lacks enough ingredients to make more. One particular item is rather hard to come by. It's feral testicles, you see. They're oh. bones, if you will. <laughs> of course. They possess extraordinary potency due to the tough environment they grow in. The ferrets in question are unlikely to part with it, but... Balls team. What a name for a mission. What a name. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, what happens Sometimes if you go to one of these? Sell collected bounties. Open. Empty. Okay. Good day. Plenty of things looking to flatline you around here. Good day. Good day. Good day to you, too. Let's see. Oh, there's some loot right here. A 
Locked Ice 2. Oh, okay. I don't think we have the materials to do that then. What about down here? We got another mission? What? Ah, what a specimen. You must help me. I'm on the verge of an enormous breakthrough, but I need assistance. My name is Dr. Humido. Perhaps you know of my work. No? Well, I am in need of a fearless invent. Is that you? Excellent. So, off you go. Humidity Doctor. Wait, we have another objective over here somewhere. I don't even know what objective or mission is currently equipped. But if it makes us travel somewhere, I'm going to check before we do that. Uh, actually, it looks like we're getting outside of the city walls. So what do we have any uh, trading places? Oh, we have to locate the coders co uh, code. Double charge kill overcharge kills zero out of 10 kill enemies using stasis overcharge. Descend into the deep stink. Go to Black Lake Tower. Okay. follow this objective for now i'm moving i'm moving i'm moving past you guys that's where i'm moving so q q is now my punch ability and e i believe works for me oh, you guys messed up man. Try that again, boys. Go ahead. Try it again. See what happens. Oh, we got a chest right here. Free flow pants. That ability reminds me of the bionic ability that you get in uh, Mass Effect a little bit. Okay, I think we're going the wrong way, so let me try going back this way. Look at that bridge over there. That looks so cool. Are we supposed to go up here? Maybe we're supposed to go up. like he was hiding in the corner. Nice. Okay, it looks like we are going the correct way so far. Oh, that guy is just a civilian. Level up. By the way, if you guys made it this far into the video, uh, definitely make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Let me know if you have been playing this game because, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's been pretty cool, especially with it still being on Game Pass, I believe. Um, I think it's one of those games that's definitely is worth at least trying. And it, it does feel like, like I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, of course, but, I feel like if you're playing this as a twin stick shooter, 
like with a controller, I feel like it would actually still, you know, feel good. Nice. Bounties. Certain enemies are known for troublemakers and have a bounty on their head. Defeat an enemy with a bounty and collect the proof to be able to claim the reward of the bartender in Velis. That's where we were at earlier, which is nice. Wait, so this guy doesn't pick up these things? Ah, uh, okay, we're good on that. That's fine. I feel like it's very rare when you might actually need to aim. Like majority of the time you can just refire and be perfectly fine. So this area is not going to be easy. really want to come after me huh locked ice one all right ice two if you get a good dodge down i feel like that's uh <laughs> the most substantial thing. Nice. Yeah, this shotgun. Oh my gosh. Especially, I'm. I'm really happy that I upgraded it too. It's funny how as you're walking around, there's like, yeah, of course, there's some people that are enemies, but like a lot of people too, just don't even care. I really hope I'm on the correct way here. a little bit close there. Yes, please. Oh, I needed that.
Please tell me I'm going the correct way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we are. The towers. Are you telling me I could have taken that thing all the way over here? Or did I have to run here? Getting, I forget. How does uh do upgrades? Bounty is collected. Wow, we have so many of them now. We have three of them. <laughs> Level eight, nice. So I'm kind of I, I forget if. I forget if there's a reason to level i mean like obviously leveling up good right but you get like new abilities or stats i forget or is it just like it automatically gives you them by that i mean is like their upgrades and things like that Okay, like we made it back over to the tower, or you made it to the tower. Enter. Reboot. Rescan. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. I don't want to drag it out too long, uh, but we got a good thirty minutes or so in. It. So if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. Let me know if you have been playing this, or if you plan on checking the game out yourself. For now, I. Uh, Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.